Hello, this is Brian J, and shout out to the LDBC and LDMMAC. And I finally watched the Valentina Shevchenko fight against Joanna Nijacek. And the fight went exactly how, how I expected it to go. The fight went exactly how I expected it to go when I talked about this fight two years ago. Two years ago, I said this fight was going to happen if the UFC made a 125-pound weight class. And they did it, and I knew this fight was going to happen. I was, just, I was just surprised that it happened so soon. I, I thought it would happen by 2019 or 2020 or something like that. But it happened immediately in 2018 because that's what the UFC does. When, they, when there is a mega fight to be made out there, they make it immediately for the fans because the UFC, you know, for all of its flaws and for all of its issues with its fighters and how it treats certain fighters, how it treats people, um, the UFC is still fan friendly. They make the mega fights happen and they make them happen now. They don't wait, you know, two, three, three years or five years to let a fight marinate or some shit. But um, yeah, man, I, I saw this fight and this was not a close fight at all, man. I think the three judges were being generous to Ioana by giving her one round. I mean, at best, Joanna probably won the fifth round, maybe, because she was more active against the cage. But I'm sorry, man. Valentina Shevchenko clearly won the first four rounds, and I thought she won the fifth round. It should have been 50-45 on at least one or two of the judges' scorecards. But, yeah, man, Valentina, she dominated this fight. I mean, she was was beating uh, Joanna on the feet. She was landing more punches to the head. She was landing kicks. She was countering Joanna. She was countering Joanna while coming forward. Valentina was backing up and countering Joanna. I mean, this fight on a skill level, on a striking level, it was a complete mismatch. Valentina was better in every single way because Valentina was a greater Muay Thai fighter. She's bigger. She's stronger. She's just as fast. She beat her three times in Muay Thai and she beat her a fourth time here in MMA. So Valentina Shevchenko is officially 4-0 and against Joanna Najacek. Um, in, in total fights, she's three and zero in Muay Thai and one and zero in MMA. So Valentina Shevchenko, she clearly won the fight. She did great. I think she took down Joanna like three or four times in this fight. Um, but it, it was it was a good fight. It, it was competitive, but it was very one sided, you know. And I don't think Valentina got tired in the last two rounds. She never got winded. I don't think she was really breathing through her mouth that much. Uh, she was still um, uh, landing the strike. She was still countering Joanna. She was still really there in the fight. She wasn't like gassing out like Claudia Cadella, you know. And I'm sorry, but Joe Rogan is an idiot. It was the dumbest freaking commentary I was hearing while watching this fight. It was the shittiest commentary with him saying that, oh, Valentina's getting winded and Joanna is getting more energy and she has better cardio and, and you know, Valentina's losing some of the, the sting in her punches when Valentina is clearly winning rounds four and five. <laughs> like, she's landing, she's landing a harder strike. She's hurting Joanna. Um, she's you know, avoiding and blocking most of Ioana's kicks. I mean, like, Ioana was landing some good kicks to, to the knees and stuff like that, but Ioana was missing a lot of kicks. She was missing a lot of strikes. And Valentina got a takedown in the fourth round. And the fifth round, like, I think in the last minute, I mean, Valentina landed a, a, a spinning kick. She she landed a spinning elbow. Uh, she landed, a, like, th- a three-punch combination. She landed her left hand. Um, and sometimes she landed her left hand at will, so... I'm sorry. This is just a one-sided fight. It wasn't close at all. I don't know what Joe Rogan is talking about, but um, Valentina clearly won this fight, and I give Valentina Shevchenko all five rounds. And congratulations to Valentina Shevchenko. I'm glad she proved me right. You know, I've been telling people for two years that Valentina is the better striker. You know, she's a greater fighter, um, the better grappler, has the better ground game. She's just a complete MMA fighter, all-around MMA fighter. And Joanna just did not have the size or the strength to really deal with Valentina. And Valentina also had a skill level. She, she had a skill advantage as well. So congratulations to Valentina Shevchenko. I'm glad she won this fight. And, um, and I'm ha- I hope I look forward to her being an active champion. You know, I want her to maybe fight next year in March or April. I know she wants to fight maybe like two, three times a year. Maybe Valentina could fight four times in a year. Who knows? Maybe she could fight four times. It would be great. You know, I know Dana White loves an active champion. I want to see more active champions in the UFC. I want to see more active fighters in the UFC. And I think her next fight is going to be against Jessica I. And I think she's going to destroy Jessica I uh, in her next fight. So I look forward to that. And this is Brian J. Uh, shout out to Valentina Shevchenko. Shout out to her team, her coach, Pavel. To her sister, Antonia Shevchenko. And to their manager, uh, Roger Allen. And uh, shout out to the LD MMAC. This is Brian J signing off for now.